And good evening. This is the daily technical update for the NASDAQ 100 and the S&P 500 for Tuesday, May 21st, 2024. And I am going to start here in the NASDAQ, in the futures market. The, the markets did continue to basically, at least the S&P and the NASDAQ, we're really posturing, I think, more in line with getting in what people think or what positions needed to be uh, put where in anticipation of tomorrow. And that would include the volatility expiration, the VIX expiration, which happens at the opening. And then, of course, NVIDIA's earnings, which come after the close tomorrow or after the bell tomorrow, closing bell. So <clears throat> those areas remained pretty active. Um, we did continue the process of moving higher in both the NASDAQ and the S&P. Starting here in the NASDAQ, I'm on the four hour chart. We have no no changes. Um, still, but it's a little bit strange for me to see a, a little bit larger move and being called by new, but that's the way this one is. So on we go, we get rid of that. I'm going to open this up, the four-hour chart. This all stays the same. Down at the bottom was minor. Ooh, come on. Actually, minute wave four. Took it down one. It was minor. Now it's minute. And so what we're in is a minute fifth wave. And that um, within that, we've gotten the minuet and the sub-minuet in line. And I've been looking for the completion point for minuet wave three. And so that would be one, two, and this would be three. So inside, I got to be able to count five. And I had it as one, two, uh, three, four, and then this was a nice big extended five, and that worked. But as it turns out, this did not continue lower, so it left it in a much lower position in terms of the size of a fourth wave. And therefore, it fit on the sub-minuet level. And then we got one, two, three, four, five. It could be done. Or one, two, three, four. And we're still in that fifth, getting ready to get done. But it it it's not like it flew and had to get to new highs. So it was a back and forth battle. And uh, in the NASDAQ, which is the market that I trade in the future, I mean, it was quite easy to see this thing flip six, 10, 15, 20 dollars, turn and rip and go right back down the same amount. So it just depended on what was trading and what was needed and volume. All right. So Elliott wave basis, we're going to say that we if we haven't, we will continue to find resistance at 18,820. Uh, and that is where this sub minuet wave five will be equal. Nope, actually it would not. It would be equal to this one. And that's not going to work. I'd have to move that over. Um, in any case, I'm going to leave it there for right now and make one more additional. Did you love it when I catch my own mistakes? Uh, what I did is I this all was over here, which is why, and I was looking for a little bit larger of a correction. And didn't get it, and then didn't notice, and didn't move it. So we'll put that one there. We will take this one off. And it actually did not, there's two. We're gonna take that one on there. Okay, so it's actually 940. 18,940 is worth 618, and that's on this one. So that it 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 no longer really fits because I think what we needed to do was to get above that high, which we did. Then it was to get above this high, which we equaled. So we'll see. We'll see what they do when we reopen um, and see. But I'm going to say, uh, like I did before, 18,800 something. And that that could be 20, I think I said. And that could be a, a logical place as well for it to stop. And then begin this little bit larger fourth wave. Now it's just a fourth wave correction. We're still looking for upside. Now, here's where it starts to get catchy because of what we have coming tomorrow on the opening, et cetera. 
and accumulating up until after the close when we get NVIDIA's earnings. All eyes are on NVIDIA and a lot of trading. Actually, Tesla was crazy today as well, up $11. And so I think Tesla will carry it all the way through till Friday's expiration. Um, but that one, you know, a lot of trading, a lot of trading in Tesla. So when it moves, traders run to it. And so what's, that's kind of what the day is really like. Whatever was moving today, if it was options, you're getting a lot of option traders. They're just going to drift and come right over. It's like, okay, there's something to do. And if you know how to trade, well, you take a shot, you go for it. Yep. So anyway, that was going on today. Now, what can we look for for tomorrow? I am still actually looking for the start of a corrective or a fourth wave. And the higher we go, granted, right now from here, there's my target. All right, so I'm not looking for anything massive. My target is 18,760 down to 18,545. That's the target area for this fourth wave and then an additional rally in terms of a minuet, wave five to finish, minute wave five. And I'm just going to go out because I got to. Um, and then minute wave five would finish minor wave five. And then we're finishing intermediate wave three. So this, whether it comes in tomorrow, whether it takes and it pushes us out to toward the weekend, um, this is this is my going out to a daily view or a weekly view. I'm looking for a, a little bit stronger high on a degree level. So it, but it still would only be an intermediate degree third wave, and therefore we have. Then it becomes this. The correction comes back to here. Now, if we can get this done, so in other words, I'm just laying this out because this is how my mind will go. Uh, and and talk. If we manage to go up and finish, or we get we really receive notification, so to speak, that we're done with the third, and we pull back and we come back into here again, not up, not super far, and then we get the earnings, and the earnings take us for a pop. That would then finish this five, this five, the minor five, and the intermediate wave three. And then we're looking for that even larger. So, if, and again, maybe the scenario is going to be that they, they, the initial reaction, whatever NVIDIA comes out as, is like, love it, or algorithms to go and take it and they chase it up, 100 bucks, whatever the deal is. The future will go right along with it. And um, and if maybe it'll be rejected, I don't know. But if but the 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 wave count, and I'm being very careful to count everything in between here. You now it's extending, it's extending, it's extending. It does not mean that it does not need to pull back. But what we're finishing is we're bumping up the ladder to bigger picture. So if you can imagine from where we're on this level. Right, this fourth wave will come down to the price territory of the fourth wave of one lesser degree, and that's right here. But when this magenta or purple color one finishes, and we got a five, then it's then correlating with this one, which would then have a five, which correlates out. So we keep going up degrees before we find where our next. So what we then have is if, if we're going to be correcting the minor fifth wave, which in really, because the, of the minor five then completes intermediate wave three. So we're starting at the top level and all these other fours probably come in between, I gotta tell you. So, but we have this, when we're done with minute wave five, it completes intermediate wave three and then we go out to that intermediate third wave to find where minor wave four. So that's where we would go. We go out to minor wave four and that's out here. So the window for the next correction, once this is all done, is down here. 
16, 6, 16, 700 down to 14, 6. Then we go up again and again to new highs. So wherever this finishes, we come down in a four and we run back up in a five. That's in my world, that's the plan. That's what will unfold according to how I'm looking at it on an Elliott basis. And it would be up at that <clears throat> secondary, right? Or tertiary, however many you want to count out to uh, in terms of highs. But on a degree level, remember that that cycle wave four or cycle wave three shifted over from 2022 to wherever this finishes and whenever it finishes. So yeah, we have more upside to do. But again, in my view, we are getting into the final segments of it. So we're finishing an immediate third, do an intermediate four, we have an intermediate five, done. Because the intermediate five then completes the, the primary wave five, and that then completes the cycle wave three. Then we begin a much bigger, maybe that's year end. Maybe that's the beginning of next year. I do not know. All right. Now, what can we look for tomorrow? Well, basically told you that I think we just continue to posture until things are done. Now, yes, there are <clears throat> particular things that, that can happen, uh, particularly in when volatility settles. <clears throat> Excuse me, which will be at the opening. Um, it will release a lot of positions and therefore a lot of different things kind of, you get a little whooshes of activity in different areas uh, related to volatility. And then again, that could you know push over into stocks and push over into options and everything else. So uh, we might get that. Uh, and then the next bigger one, the Fed minutes, yes, I think there'll be a few volatile moments on that one, but I don't think anything spectacular. Uh, then NVIDIA. Uh, moving averages are basically, they're, they're all the same. And so I'm looking for that. If it's not done, maybe pokes his nose a little bit more above uh, 18,000. So we got up to 18,009, eight, excuse me, 18,008. And so I'm like, yeah, hoping that was enough. And we get the five, the three. We come back in a minuet, wave four, and then rally again to finish minuet wave five. And one up from that, we're going to go up to, and excuse me. So we're finishing minuet wave five, minute wave five, minor wave five, intermediate wave three. And that one, I think that, that I think can take us 19,185. Actually, that's that's double tagged there. I got 100% for my new wave five and 1.382 for an irregular B wave. So relatively one on the shorter term time frame and one on a very long time frame. This one's been sitting there since um, October 2022. All right, over in the in the S and P. Uh, same deal. Here I am on the daily. Let me drop down to the four hour. The thing is, is that the degrees are a little bit different here. The degrees are a little bit different. In the S&P, we still have the fact that this is minor wave three, minor wave four of intermediate wave three. So a little bit different. Uh, let me go one out Two, yeah, pretty far out there. They got to go all the way through. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Intermediate wave three. And still going to be looking for, this is going to be the window to come back to yet again. We get up to wherever we're going to get to finish intermediate wave three. It's been a beautiful run. Even within this fifth wave, it's been pretty much, uh, we have not had a down week. Started. You know, April, that was April expiration. But one, two, three, four. This would be the fifth week up if we close up. 
If not, then I think we can really start to break solidly below 5,300 and start heading down towards 5,275, even 5,250. <clears throat> um, but these would be, these were for this four. And I don't think that they're for this four. So I'm actually going to take this one. Well, no, I'm going to leave them up there because I got them connected to, to something up here. Four or five. Yeah, here we have this would be for uh, Minuet Way 5. And right now we're just kind of cruising up. No, actually we're not. We haven't really even gotten up to the 2.236, which is 53.85. Then we have 54.34, 54.55, 54, and then 55.13 all the way up. And could it? Yeah, but it then it, it it's leading to a stronger beliefs that think we're going to end up pretty far up once this primary fifth wave were to be complete. Um, that's an intermediate degree. Not saying, but there it sits. More near term. We're finishing the minor wave five. And that then completes the intermediate third wave. And again, that intermediate fourth wave, that's actually where the marker is going to come in. Otherwise, you're down here. And that's really far. That would be a very large fourth wave. So I'm still going to be looking to here, but I think it can be very wicked. So those are the points that I think that we're getting to. Now, whether, again, I'm thinking that we really... Working with cycles, it, they, they're they not all lining up to say we have a more severe drop and, and until later, till after the summer. So, but it could work its way. We could have this little bit larger fourth wave, which is going to take us from wherever we are here in, in this market to as low as 49.60, 49.50, right? From there, if we top out up here, about 54-ish, for 34 and we start to come back down that's quite the drop and that would be a fourth wave an intermediate fourth wave and then we run again okay s and p i'm looking at this thing to see here i'm just going to drop this down put it on the hourly and go right inside this thing i do think 5347. This is this has not eked out a new high, but I'll tell you, it's a matter of a of less than a dollar. So maybe it pops a little bit and gets itself up there, or maybe it does move even further until we're done with this. Um, but I, I do think we should finish this and then begin that a little bit larger. And then that would be into here and then run again and then start the one walk up larger. So both are doing okay. If we bring down the 15 minute and we can look internally. The moves themselves, well, you know, here we are. It was choppy. So it was choppy. You can tell just when, when that one was a little bit easier because you see it's one, two, three, four, five. It's a nice clean five. This is an ABC, but they're never going to be easy because they're chop. Kind of quick down, chop its way back up, but you know, decent, but choppy, and then basically chop its way down. And then one, two, three. Yeah, look at that. One, yep, one, two, three, four. It probably should come up above here before all is said and done, and we put in that any larger correction that might bring us uh, to that to the levels that I showed before. Um, and again, I think it could be a lot of posturing, so it could be choppy, but if you feel that you're in, in a impulse, so it's a five wave up or down, they're a little bit easier to trade in terms of day trading, or even you could, cause you can mark them out on a FIB basis and, and just really work at it. If you, if that is what you are, how you trade, um, 
And you do that move by move by move. And you just work your way in either direction. Um, all right. I'm not really have a whole lot to go into. Tomorrow, in terms of numbers, let's see what actually might be coming out on Wednesday. Existing home sales, would be, And then at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, minutes of the Fed's May meeting. That one yeah, could have a little momentary burp. Uh, I don't expect anything to be overwhelmingly pushing one way or the other. Uh, that Because this is, uh, I mean, Powell basically spoke. So you're going to find out about what other Fed officials may have said. Okay, and then, of course, we have NVIDIA uh, after the close. All right, next update will be on Wednesday, May the 22nd.